Hello, welcome to my channel. I'll be walking through how I created my variable lab bench power supply. It comes with a 12-volt barrel jack, a constant 5-volt supply, and an adjustable variable supply through a small display module. Initially, I began with researching examples of custom homemade power supplies for electronics, as I was in need of one because I wanted to test different components like motors at a higher voltage. This led me to finding multiple tutorials from different YouTubers like Max Imagination, The Drone Bot Workshop, and The Great Scott, uh, which would take all power supplies found in computers and laptops and convert them into custom lab bench power supplies. After researching and deciding on a basic design through what I had on hand, I decided to use an old power supply found in a laptop as the base of my design. Using an old Lenovo power supply, which would supply 20 volts as an output, enough for most electronic components that I'd be testing with, and only having to order a few additional parts like an adjustable DC to DC buck converter and some binding posts, I took some basic measurements and sketched a basic design. I wanted to be able to use my 3D printer to print a shelf for the power supply, so I decided to make the size of the unit corresponding to my 3D printer bed size, which is 150 by 150 mils. I laid out all the components to visualize the basic layout of my design. Then I took my basic sketches and modeled them in on shape, double checking the measurements as I went to make sure they were accurate. Here is where the problem arises. In the process I had designed the model without any tolerances, and with angles and spaces which my 3D printer couldn't create, which meant a lot of my parts and a lot of 3D prints that I did were met with failures and various other issues. This was probably mostly due to the lack of patience and foresight during the design process. I wanted to create and print a design in a relatively short amount of time. After I had finished modeling and began to print my model, I started to work on the electronic components of the power supply, which, is far, which was by far the easiest part of the project. First I had removed the head of the AC adapter, exposing both the negative and the positive terminals, checking with the multimeter to make sure they were providing the correct voltage. Then soldered leads to split them, split both the wires into three ways, providing both power and ground to each of the terminals. I also provided a power switch, which was directly soldered to the positive line. After this, I began to solder the binding posts and the DC buck converters together, testing and adjusting the voltage to meet the required voltages I needed, 12 and 5 volts respectively. I also included a barrel jack connector to my design as I worked with Arduinos quite frequently and I wanted a means to power one directly from the power supply. After I finished soldering and constructing the main wiring harness of the project, I waited on the front panel and the bottom panel to begin the final assembly. As I printed the first iteration in the front panel, the issue of not identifying the correct tolerances appeared. The measurements for each of the insets, like the binding posts and the display, were off by 0.5 mils, respectively, which meant I had to reprint the front panel. Although I could have used a soldering iron to reshape the insets, I decided to reprint the parts as my printer had already made a filament error anyways whilst printing, and I wanted the exterior to look somewhat pleasing. As I printed the rest of the components, including the front panel again, I ran into the same issue again. Believe it or not, I had fully learnt after this to test and create tolerances with parts of my design. The bottom panel insert for the power supply was short by a few millimetres. Either I had to reprint the, the, the design, changing the measurements, or find another workaround, which I did. I found that by rotating my power supply within the case to sit vertically, it would still work with the design and save me having to reprint another bottom panel. Initially, I also wanted to use brass insets in my design to allow me to service, if needed, the, the power supply, but this went out the window as none of the slots which I designed printed well enough for me to actually be able to use them, so I settled on using hot glue to fix everything together. After a few sticks of hot glue, I had fully created and completed my power supply, with two uh, outputs and one variable output. Some of the mistakes which I made during the design process could have been easily corrected and avoided if I had the foresight and patience to creating a fully functional case. But nonetheless, I had a lot of fun researching and developing this project, and I would recommend this to anybody who's a beginner at electronics to give this project a shot. I've attached the videos in the description which I had done, which I had looked over during research and took inspiration from. If you're interested, I've also attached a parts list below. Overall, it took me around three days to model and create, not including research, as 3D printing took a majority of that time. Thank you for watching, and I'll just finish this video off with a demonstration of my fully completed project. Thank you!